Hey guys. In the previous episode, we have seen the different types of K-maps. In this video, we will see how K-maps help to simplify the Boolean expression. This is done by grouping elements present in the K-map. Let's discuss this in steps. Based on the Boolean expression, determine the number of variables present and select the respective K-map. If you see an expression like this, you can spot three terms here, A, B and C. In this case, we will use a three input K-map. For the next expression, we will use a two input K-map for the inputs A and B. In this case, there are four inputs A, B, C and D. Well, no guesses here. We will be using a four input K-map. The second step, if the Boolean function is given as sum of min terms, then place a 1 at the respective cells in the K-map. Now, in the previous video, we have already seen what is a min term and sum of products. If you need any revision with it, please find the links of the video in the description below. So, for this expression, we have two product terms AB and AB bar. In the K-map, we will indicate these terms by 1 and rest of the two terms are 0 by default. The third step is to group the terms present in the K-map. Grouping should be done to include the maximum number of elements and it is formed from the highest power of 2 to lowest power of 2. In this case, the maximum size of grouping is 2 raised to 2 that is 4 since it has two terms A and B and the smallest size of grouping is 2 raised to 0 equals 1 which means there is a single literal present and we couldn't group it. For our example, there is only one group here. Groups can be horizontal or vertical. However, diagonal grouping is incorrect. The groups can overlap. The same elements may repeat in multiple groups to increase the size of the group. In this case, we can see that the groups are overlapping. The last step is to determine the Boolean expression. For the expression shown on the screen, first let's update the K-map and group the ones. The term AB is common in these cells, whereas here it is CD. We write these product terms and sum them here, thus obtaining the sum of products. We will be showing you some examples on screen for your understanding. In this case, the terms are present at the four corners of the K-map. However, we can still group these four because when we fold it from the corners, the cells are physically adjacent. While grouping, we might find some cells with a cross or an asterisk. They indicate the don't care condition and we can still group the adjacent cells using them. They may be either 1 or 0 as per our convenience of grouping the terms. The simplest example of it is an OR gate. If one of the input state is 1, the output will be high irrespective of the remaining inputs. That is, we don't care about the state of the other inputs for this particular case. Well, that is how you group elements as sum of product. However, when presented with the product of some expression, it is not at all difficult to solve it. Simply place a zero for each sum term in the K-map and group adjacent zeros. The simplified expression is a product of sum. Hope you have learned something new and enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Stay calm and keep learning. Peace out.